In this video, I'm going to look at two chords from Venus from the Planets by Holst. Let's check it out. Keith Horns, chord of the week. Here's the first chord I want to look at. It's a B major 9 over the 9th. Lovely. So it's an interesting way to voice a major 9 chord. We usually think of a major 9th as, as like adding the 9th here, but in this case he has it as the root note. Not the root, but the bass note. Really interesting chord. It's a very bright sounding chord. And that 9 makes everything. It just makes it. That's a damn beautiful sound. And the second chord is this. We're moving from the first one to another one, and that's this. And the second chord is interesting because it's technically a dominant. So if you look at it, the left hand we have D, F sharp, C, which is a shell voicing of D7. Shell voicing meaning just the third and the seventh. And then I have a root two. And the right hand's the same. In E minor triad, which was the top voicing of, or the top voices from our first chord. The second one is here. So what we have here is a D sh shell voicing, D7 shell voicing, and then an upper structure E minor triad. It's a very jazzy sound. Let me take it down an octave. I mean, especially with this electric piano. But in context, we don't hear that as a dominant, even though it really, really is. I mean, if you take it out, if you think of any other context, that sounds like it's going here. But he doesn't do that. Smooth. It's beautiful. So smooth. All right, let's take these two chords through some exercises. First, just to build this first chord, we'll start with the B. Major 7 with the right hand, and then the left hand will just go. So we'll move triadically like this, but then we'll add the 7th and the 9th. Let's run that through the circle of fifths like this. Next is to literally run through the second two chords exactly as they are through the circle of fifths. So in B first, E, A, D, G. Now let's do one more. Try C. One more exercise, I'm going to revoice this B major 9 and make it a root position. All right, so we have one, two, three, five, seven, and a doubled third. And instead of where before we had a B major 9 to a D7 alt, essentially, I'm going to do the same thing down here in a different position. All I'm doing is changing this here. This one, two, three basically becomes a split nine of B, right? The ninth is here, and if we split it in either direction, we get that. So B, major nine. And then E. A. C. 
And just for fun, let's try to use this functionally by starting with the first chord, going to the second one, and resolving it as if this were a five chord. That does sound fun. So now what this gives us is a really interesting dominant prep in G minor. And I'm resolving it to G minor 9 with a major 7 because that's kind of where this wants to go. So let's try that in a few different keys. So that's just two chords of many really interesting and strange chords that you'll find in Venus. So I'm going to do a few more videos on just this one movement from the planets because there's a lot in there that's usable and interesting and unique to this piece. So thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and happy practicing. Yeah. Who this? This piece. Yo, who this? Yo, who this? Who this?